Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really, really well today. So today I'm going to share with you guys five things that add value to my life that are non-minimalist. So you guys know that I identify as a minimalist and think that minimalism is wonderful and it's such a great tool to use in your life to create intention and purpose and just live a meaningful life. However, <laughs> uh, one thing with minimalism is sometimes people put you into a box and they think that being a minimalist means that you live in a black and white house and you don't have any belongings or any furniture and while that can be the case for some people it honestly isn't a reality for 90% of minimalists in the world and yeah I think that having things that add value to your life is so so important but those things look completely different for each person. So my number one thing is salt lamps. I absolutely love salt lamps. I actually own two and I own one tiny little candle holder. So it's like for a tea light. I think they're so beautiful. I love, love, love the glow that they give off. I think they're really calming and they just add such a nice atmosphere to a really simple home. They're also super good for us. They're filled with positive benefits. So one thing that they do is they increase negative ions in the air around them. They are salt and so when they heat up, up, they release all of these um, ions into the atmosphere and that's something that's really good because that's a thing that you would get if you were out in nature. So for any of you guys who don't know about ions, negative ions are good and positive ions are bad which is usually the other way around but in this case it's not. So positive ions come from things like Wi-Fi routers and anything electric, they give off a positive charge and so when you're in the house all day surrounded by Wi-Fi and all of these crazy ions just floating around it can make you feel really like just wired and just oh really cooped up and annoyed and when you go out in nature and you go for a walk there are negative ions everywhere so every body of water there's trees rocks all of that good stuff gives you all of these really good negative ions so when you come back from a really long walk in nature you come home and you think oh I am so tired but feels so good I feel so just fresh and you've got that really beautiful smell on you well that is negative ions and so as many of those as I can get, I will. <laughs> I also think they're great because I really don't like artificial light. I think that blue light is horrendous and it's something that we can't really avoid in the modern world. But on an evening, I really do like those just more yellow toned lights and this just gives off a really gorgeous glow. So I think it's good for just kind of chilling out and just kind of easing yourself into the evening and it makes going to sleep a lot easier too. The second thing I really love is my bullet journal. So I've done quite a few videos in the past and I think that when I start a new bullet journal I will definitely create some more videos about that for you guys because I know a lot of you are interested. But I think that bullet journals are great because they cause me to be more intentional with my time and they just give me that chance to reflect on what I'm grateful for, what I want, what my goals and my ambitions and my aims in life are and I think sometimes just sitting down and writing a to-do list or writing a list of what you want to achieve can be a really powerful thing and it's definitely helped me to become so so much more organized in my daily life and you know as a minimalist I think one thing that's really important is organizing your time properly because you can be a minimalist outside externally and I've spoken about this before but yeah you can be all you know, look like you've got your life together on the outside, but internally you're just crazy. It's just chaos inside there. So I think that getting those thoughts out of your brain and onto paper leads for a more minimalist mindset too. The third thing that I've introduced recently into my life is cacao. So drinking a, a cup of hot cacao and also a cup of hot tea, just a cup of hot anything really. But cacao has been the main one recently. I found it's really been great. I think it's a real heart opener and I find it just really soothing and really nice. Cacao is also amazing because it has so many health benefits. So it's full of magnesium, potassium, iron, all those good things. And I find myself more drawn to that around my periods. And I just think it's really great. And so I really, I'm not a minimalist when it comes to hot drinks. So I've got lots of different types of cacao, lots of different types of tea because they really do add to my life. And I think that tea is so special because you can just have all of these different herbs and flowers and essences of, you know, just nature and you can get so many benefits from those. I really do love chamomile tea. I think it's so soothing and so relaxing. And I just think it's such a nice way to introduce little things into your life that you maybe wouldn't have eaten in the past. The fourth thing is a very random thing and it's my shoe rack. I have a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of appreciation for my shoe rack. 
If you watched my house tour video, I kind of went on a rant about this shoe rack and honestly it's fantastic. So in this tiny little house there is not much space and I think having shoes everywhere just causes it to look really cluttered. And like I said before, if your space is cluttered then your mind feels cluttered and you suddenly just feel really cooped up and annoyed. And shoes are stinky, you don't really want them in the bedroom and because I only live in a two, two room apartment, you know, there's not really anywhere else for them to go. And so this shoe rack's just been fantastic and it serves as a dual purpose. So it's also kind of where I put my cups of tea and sometimes my laptop too. So very happy with it. And I think sometimes those multi-use items are just just the best, you know, when something's got more than one use. That's great in my eyes too. <laughs> the last thing is something very random, but something that I always love, and it's this tree. I am so happy this tree came into my life. It was randomly left here when we moved into the apartment, and my intention all along was to introduce more nature into this apartment, because, you know, when you're just in this house all day, you're not really outside. You can see outside, but it's not really your environment. You're kind of separate from it. And I think that having, you know, just plants and nature inside your home is so, so important because it helps to clean the air, <laughs> you know, it gets rid of all of the, just the gross stuff floating around and it helps to filter out those toxins and just give you some really nice fresh oxygen too, which is very beneficial. The other thing that I love is that it gives me something to care for, which sounds really strange, but I don't have any pets, I'm not allowed any pets here. and. I look after myself and I look after Dom, but I do those things anyway, and so just taking the time to nurture something and look after something and watch something grow is really special to me and something that I will always do in my life. So I am a definite lover of plants and I'm doing really well at keeping this guy alive. He's thriving right now, so I'm very happy. <laughs> So that was my random selection of things that add value to my life as a minimalist. I would be super, super intrigued to hear what you guys have to say about this, whether you're a minimalist or not. Just think of five things that really do add value to your life. Not that you couldn't live without, but just things that you really are appreciating right now, because I think this thing changes too over time, you know. We go through phases in life and right now this is what's serving me so yes i would love to hear that from you guys if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and please give this video a big like if you enjoyed it it really really does help to support my channel and i can't wait to share more videos with you in the future about minimalism and intentional living so i hope you have a really fantastic day guys and i'll speak to you all very very soon bye